One, two, three. Mr. Red Crimson one or two, you're on, sir. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Red Crimson 102 here. I got some news for you guys on the Rog Ally. So let's get right into it. The Rog Ally has been pretty quiet for a long time. Steam Deck OLED is the most popular handheld and it just overrides all PC handhelds out there. Is it the best PC handheld? Hell no. But we're not going to talk about that right now. We're not going to get into that. But um, the ROG Ally, um, <clears throat> if you guys are familiar with it, came out like um, a year ago. And, you know, people were dubbing it the Steam Deck Killer as it is. But I don't really think about it that way. They're all good handhelds. But personally, guys, I love... The ROG Ally, I like it a lot better than the Steam Deck. I actually think it's a lot better than the Steam Deck. It's better overall. And it's a decent handheld. You know, people have their gripes about it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. But me personally, I love it. It's a very powerful handheld, especially at the time of release. I love the design on the ROG Ally. Um, um, the only thing I hated about the ROG Ally was the terrible, terrible battery life. That's what really killed it for me. But with updates and patches, it got a little bit better. Especially when you're playing non-AAA games. You're playing like simple indie games or old style games. It, you know, the battery life is okay on there. But for the most part, bottom line is the battery life is terrible. And that's what killed it for me. And... A lot of people now asus has revealed that they're coming out with not a rog ally 2 but more so a revision of the current rog ally that's on the market right now dubbed the the rog ally x yes you heard that right the rog ally x it's not um uh, continuation it's not a part two it's basically just a revision with battery battery life asus claims up to eight hours on it and they have moved around the sd card slot so the sd card slot is no longer located near where the heat dissipates so it's away from the heat dissipator the heat vent so you shouldn't at least fingers crossed shouldn't have any issues with the sd card getting overheat and ruined so that's a good thing and i think the only thing i was missed only thing <clears throat> excuse me guys and honestly like i said the only thing i, I hated about the raga ally was the terrible battery life if it came out with a better and bigger battery from the jump right out the gate i think it would have been a, a flawless pc handheld but hey, we're here now. That's just what it is. I'm actually a little bit disappointed, disappointed on why they just didn't release um, a ROG Ally 2. That would have been much more better. That would have made much more sense because as time goes on, the, even the ROG Ally is starting to struggle with some games. So um, I came across this article on The Verge and this is what the guy they're saying about it because he actually had some hands-on time with it. He had his hands on there. There's certain things, you know, he couldn't really reveal. Certain things he couldn't really say about it. There's certain things he still didn't know because ASUS basically have the system under wraps. So he had his hands on a prototype. So he's saying here in this article, the A, B, X, Y face buttons feel like they've nudge slightly forward closer to the analog stick so that the b button now slightly intersects the grip but he also says the face buttons are a little less rattly though they still do pleasingly rattle so that's kind of odd so they fixed the rattle but it's still rattle that's kind of weird the joysticks now have a nicely tacky rubber coating in the middle like the steam deck oled their throw felt slightly tighter too and onto the D-pad. The D-pad now has eight-way indicators and feels very slightly floatier. Well, um, never really had a problem with the D-pad as much, but a better D-pad is always welcome. A good D-pad is hard to come across these days. Wouldn't you guys agree? Now onto the triggers. The triggers may be 
have a touch more throw and still have a nice smooth pull. So that's good to know. There's still just two back buttons. It still uses Phillips head screws. Um, I don't know why that was even <clears throat> in the article. You still get red, green, blue, lead ring lights around the sticks. I couldn't tell if they'd been added to the buttons, but they're still double shot. Um, okay, so it's good to know that the, the red, green, blue lights still illuminates around the analogs. That'd be cool if the buttons lit up too. At least give us an option. He said he could also see through vent gaps in the chassis that there's still a pair of fans inside. I don't know why they would remove the fans anyway, right? And that's all I was able to glean. But if Asus manages to nail comfort and battery life without a much higher price tag, this will definitely be a handheld to watch. Leaker at Mystery Lupin claims it will cost $800 and come with one terabyte of storage, 24 gigs of RAM, and up to eight hours of battery life, just like I stated earlier. But if I recall, Asus claimed the original Ally had up to eight hours of battery life too. I guess we'll find out in June. Okay, so basically the ROG Ally X releases in June and it's more expensive. I forgot how much I paid for mine. I don't know if I paid 700 or 800. So if he says it's $800, um, I'm guessing that maybe it was $700. And the ROG Ally, the current one that's on the market now, comes with 512 gigabytes so we're getting a one terabyte model and 24 gigs of ram wow that is crazy so they they beefed up the ram um and more ram is good so that that means the rog ally shouldn't have any issues playing games at all going forward 24 gigs of rams that's a lot guys i mean you have no idea how much that is that's gonna give you um you basically your games will be hitting high frame rates a lot more but i'm more so loving the one terabyte and the battery that's the most important thing to me the bigger battery and one terabyte of internal storage because i'm not one of those guys that like to open the system and tinker around with it and replace the ssd nowadays man that's just a, a lot of work for me i know i know i know i'm I, I'm, I'm old but anyway um this may be good news to some and may not be good news to some so, but keep in mind this is not really um a, a rock ally too it's it's a it's a revision it's sort of like what valve did with the steam deck oled you know they they did up a little things in the in the steam deck oled but it's roughly the same the same steam deck we gotten um around launch several years ago so the rock ally x is really no different so let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in this rock ally x upgrade do you feel as if it's worth it do you rather wait for a rock ally 2 or do you like your steam deck a lot better let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to my channel peace out